Hi everyone, this is Shalda Kumar again from Oski Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced Oski Nurse Trainer for the NMC Oski exam in UK, a NMC Oski registered nurse and also the lead trainer for Oski Nurse Training Cambridge uh, with lots of experience in uh, clinical practice and also educating undergraduate nurses and also um, supporting overseas nurses with their NMC Oski exam. Uh, okay, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe share it with your other friends or colleagues who may be revising for NMC OSCE exam so today's video really important one we're going to talk about Alzheimer's scenario I'm gonna give you a bit of update on it uh, just pointing out uh, why uh, nurse, lots of nurses are failing this scenario uh, so we are just going to simplify it and just going to let you know um, just the simple ways of not making those mistakes uh, and give you a little bit of update it's been long time since i did the alzheimer's scenario video so it's just kind of update on it uh, as a reminder of what uh, mistakes at the moment nurses are making recently and failing this scenario so let's have a look at it okay so uh, as you know, this is we are talking about your assessment station is 20 minutes and one of the scenarios can be Alzheimer's disease. It's normally set up in community setting where you are going to either patient house or you are going to a care home or a nursing home to assess this patient on the request of their GP, okay, to do an assessment on them because the patient is showing uh, increased signs of uh, memory loss and confusion, okay. So your GP has asked you to go and see this patient and assess them clinically uh, so that's what we are doing in assessment station so let's first look at a uh, what documents are you going to get to help you with your assessment station so that there is a lot of confusion out there what do i get in a what do i not get in a so let's just get a straight out so you get overview of history form which you get in every scenario so like i put an example one on your screen now so it shows you what is patient history i've just highlighted a few things like you know patient have obviously uh, increased me memory loss and confusion they're presenting with uh, of course they are unable to do activities of daily living due to increased confusion um, uh, and there are other obviously uh, problems to go with it as you can see decreased mobility and all that so it's just an example scenario uh, you know I'm not saying you're gonna get exactly the same but just some uh, just an example scenario of somebody who's presenting with increased memory loss and confusion and then you got patient um, past medical history social history medical education and allergy status okay so that's just common uh, the simple template and just with this scenario uh, then you are going to get six item cognitive impairment test so that is uh, a tool we use uh, to assess for memory loss and confusion in our patients uh, so you will get that as well as part of your assessment station and then of course you're going to get news to chart because you do still need to do the vitals on the patient still need to do a to assessment and still need to plot those vitals okay so that goes without saying because that is a common uh, theme of every assessment station that you will record the take and record vitals and do a to assessment so that's absolutely you're going to do it in this as well and of course you're going to still do the holistic assessment of patient nursing needs which is physical needs psychosocial spiritual and sexual and that still has to be done so that's the uh, that's what you need to do and that's the documents you get so where I want to concentrate on more is where uh, nurses are failing this uh, I already said it's a 20 minute station and you do need to obviously carry out the assessment on your real actor uh, of course you're going to take vitals of course you're going to plot the vitals on news chart you are going to do a to assessment and then you're going to carry into doing holistic assessment of your patient and additionally you have to complete the six item cognitive impairment test as well so that's where the confusion is actually uh, so what is the confusion loss of nurses are still confused do I ask these questions on the test do I not ask these questions what am I supposed to do with it so let's look at it what you're supposed to do so on the next screen I put your cognitive impairment test uh, on their six it form so it's clearly telling you that, uh, 
that these questions have been already asked okay so nobody can i repeat it again nobody is expecting you to ask these questions again in 20 minutes okay uh, so the questions so your briefing from the examiner in the beginning is that this question these questions have been already asked all you have to do is look at the score like i have highlighted on your form and do the total score and then do your interventions okay so uh, your expect expectation from you is that you can add the score correctly and you can do the correct interventions not about asking the questions you do not need to ask the questions okay just add the numbers for the answers uh, and then uh, do your interventions like on next screen so our total here is 10 uh, so 10 out of 28 because 28 should be the maximum but the patient is scoring 10 out of 28 and at the bottom of the chart it telling you what does that mean 10 um, 10 to 28 if somebody is scoring 10 to 28 is significant cognitive impairment so they do need interventions and referral into um, G, uh, referral back to the GP and uh, neurologist and all that okay so GP will then refer the patient to if needed to be to the neurologist but you do need to refer the patient back to the uh, GP for further management and any other interventions you may think is important for that patient okay so that's uh, so what you need to do is add the score not ask the questions add the score and do your interventions okay uh, correctly so that's what expected of you uh, so you will refer the patient to the GP because GP may need to review their medication for dementia may need to change the dose may need to increase the dose may need to change the medication or they, because confusion is causing um, a problem with completing activities of daily living so they may need uh, you might recommend GP to provide extra help maybe you can arrange a carer if the patient is still staying at home they may need a carer to come in few times to help them with activities of daily living and all that so that's what your interventions are okay and that's what examiner is looking for they are not looking for you to ask these questions if you do start reading these questions asking again you are absolutely wasting your time and you will not be able to finish this station in the set time of 20 minutes okay uh, so what another thing we're going to come to is what is the other biggest fail in this station which nurse is repeatedly keep failing and it's quite frustrating because it's very simple but it's a very big mistake okay it's a simple mistake to make but it's a very frustrating mistake okay um, so let's see what this mistake is and how we can simply fix it the mistake is about on the, your next screen is about the news charting now we know our patient is uh, confused due to dementia because they got alzheimer and we agree with that and we will acknowledge that into a to e assessment when we come to disability we know our patient is confused uh, as part of disability assessment when we do a to e assessment when we come to disability is all about the alertness level orientation or confusion yes our patient is confused but then nurses are marking the patient confused on the news chart as well and that's where the mistake is because because you should not mark the patient confused on the news chart because we only mark somebody confused on the news chart if it is of acute onset okay and Alzheimer is not acute onset okay it is a chronic problem patient has been confused for very long time uh, so it's not like they have just turned confused in last week or two it's not acute confusion and if you look at the news chart like I'm pointing out to you here I have charted this patient consciously level as alert and that's the correct answer you will still chart your patient alert on the news chart even though you will acknowledge into your a to assessment the patient is confused but you will chart them alert because news chart if you look carefully it tells you to only chart somebody confused if it's acute confusion if it's chronic confusion it tells you to chart somebody the person alert so we are going to chart Alzheimer's scenario alert okay on the news chart so it's a simple mistake but it's a very it's a very common mistake and I can't tell you how many nurses fail on this simple thing so my so don't get confused in the exam just think it's a chronic confusion so I still need to chart the patient alert for news purpose they will still be counted uh, as alert because that's 
confusion is normal for them okay so it's not acute onset it's chronic onset and uh, because of his chronic onset so we're gonna still chart them alert on the news chart um, because if you do uh, chart them confused what will happen your new score will be falsely high okay they will go into red area on confusion and uh, that is not true of their clinical condition um, uh, because this is a, a chronic problem they've been like this for very long time okay so you are gonna uh, put them into alert state on the news for no good reason okay so that's why we need to chart them alert um, because we don't want to get wrong news scoring and then you, uh, if you get wrong news scoring of three in single parameter then it goes all from downhill from then you your monitoring frequency will change your escalation will change everything will be wrong from there onwards so make sure you chart the patient alert okay rest of the vitals need to be charted as as they are on your actor okay uh, so i hope that helps um that is uh, the two things i really point wanted to point out to you the two big mistakes nurses are making in this station in cognitive impairment test and the news charting uh, and just a recap on your alzheimer's scenario okay i hope this video has been helpful so if you like my videos don't uh, forget to like and subscribe we give training uh, for full nmc oski training online face to face and our complete package of online and face to face and access to online platform and your demonstration videos and everything so it's the full package uh, but if you just want online that's available as well and uh, so do give us a call uh, or email us on oskinus training at outlook.com visit us on our website at oskinus training.com check our google reviews on our our google page what other nurses have been saying about our training follow us on facebook and i will soon be back with another video for you so bye for now